everybody, and welcome back to another edition of Wrestle Test. And I'm here with the defending champion, Dan Sebastiano, the player, Benny Scala, and the man that was screwed on the last show, Mr. President Bill DeCessere. What's going on, guys? Glad I to mean, be back. having to compete Again. against me, I wouldn't really call that screwing, <laughs> Phil. It's just what happens when, when you put me on a game like this. <laughs> Well, well, Mike, Mike Monty might have given us some some misinformation, <laughs> but hey, well, we won't we won't get into that. But because of that, I'm going to let Phil choose the first category, Dan. I'm sorry, I know oh, it's usually what? the champion's job. But... Red red flag. Where's the red flag? <laughs> They're all hard, Bruce. Man, you know it, the first one could be the landmine here. So I don't know. And of course, I'm gonna I'm gonna start with Manager Mayhem you for got. 100, please, Bruce. Who managed the fabulous Freebirds? Mr. President. Mr. President. Well, I guess briefly one could say that it was, uh, among other people, Dave Wolf, Captain Lou, that whole contingency there in, in, in WWF at the uh, time. That was, that's not the answer we're looking for. Oh, oh Cindy Lopper. Uh, no. Shoot, that's who I would have said. Um, Consistently throughout his uh, <laughs> his run, Michael Hayes. Oh well, he's yeah. considered the manager of the Freebirds. All right, kind yeah, of a trick question. The right leader, there. yeah. yeah All right, fair there. enough. Let's go if we can. Let's go two hundred, Bruce, in the same category. This one you'll definitely get. Who managed the Midnight Express? <laughs> Sorry. James E. Cornet, man. Corny for short. The corn dog. You got it. Nice job, Phil. Nice job there. Thanks. I'm feeling validated. Well, until I step in a in the, in the quicksand. Manager Mayhem for 300 the Bruce Man. Of the Glamour Girls. Oh boy. Come on, those late 80s uh Women's tag teams, come on. I know, I know, I know. I just can't think. I don't know who managed the Glamour Girls. It was a great song by Living Color. Well, that was uh, Glamour Boys by Living bad, Color. Um, Hart. That was... Oh, jeez. Yes, was it was. All right. uh, you know what? That's a good point. I completely forgot about that. Yep. The Mouth of the South. Uh, Dang. The 400 for Manager Mayhem Bruce. Who managed the Quebecers? Oh, oh yeah, I know. Too fast on the buzzer. Uh, that, that, that would be uh, Scott Levy, a.k.a. Raven, Johnny Polo. Nice job, Phil. All right. Let's try to finish this category before my opponents Got finish it. me tonight, Bruce. Who managed the Natural Disasters? Player. Who is Jimmy Hart? Who is Jimmy Hart? Nice job, player. Right. Player is on the board. Nice to run, player. Good job, Ben. All right. Let's do let's do t- uh, wrestling podcast for 100. Wrestling podcast for 100. Broken Skull host. Man. That would be Stone Cold. You got it. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Nice job. If we're not one of these answers, I'm going to be very disappointed <laughs> with you. Let's do a wrestling podcast for 200. Yeah, really? Click. This is Click Member. <laughs> Mr. President. Uh, that would be Sean Oliver along with Kevin Nash. Well, I'll give it to you, but... Uh, no. The click this is click member would be the second one, Kevin Nash. Oh, Kevin Nash. Well, thank you for your sure. charity. Yeah, they're kind of a team in their own right. Those rascals. Uh, they, you know, Sean Oliver was never a real member of the click there, so that's fair. All right, what do we got, Phil? Fair enough. Let's go podcast for three hundred, man. This former WWE announcer is always growing something up with Conrad. Player. Uh, Who is Jim Ross? Good old JR. JR, Jim Ross. Nice job. Dang. 
And you guys are quick Good on the job. buzzers tonight. Wrestling podcast for 400, please. This podcaster from Boston feuded with Tony Atlas for a short time before oh. his passing. I'm buzzing. Mr. I'm President, buzzing. Mr. President. Uh, my 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 late great friend Dan Marotti. Oh, Dan, I know you're watching Dan up Marotti. there. I, I had Thanks. to put that one in there. So <laughs> nice job, Mr. President. I appreciate that, man. It's, it's only fair you get that, that one yeah. right, so. Absolutely. All right. I should hope so. Let's um let's finish All the right. category then, shall we? Five hundred. The please? greatest wrestling podcast variety show YouTube channel out there. <laughs> Go. Well, it has to be the Monty and Pharaoh you variety show, the greatest of all. You got it. Nice job. Nice job. Uh, I thought that kind of would be <laughs> the evolution of sports entertainment. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you buzzed in, Phil, because I definitely would have answered something different. <laughs> I know. I, I know. I know. Well, a close second is the Dan and ben, Benny uh, getting the ring uh, extravaganza. Oh, really? Come on. Where's, our, where's the love here? Right. <laughs> Let's go to wrestling in pop culture. Which wrestler starred in the movie They Live? Dan. Well, he came to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and that was Roddy Piper. That is yeah. Roddy Piper. Nice I, I didn't hear you ask the question, though, Bruce. That audio cut out, but indeed, what a great movie, huh? Yeah. Bro, the, the Roddy Piper, Keith David, is probably one of my favorite movie fight scenes ever. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's, let's keep it going with 200 for pop culture. Okay. Which wrestler appeared in the TV show Walker, Texas Ranger? Hmm. Damn. Well, there were several cameos uh, for Walker, Texas Ranger. But uh, I'm going to answer Chuck Norris because he was the enforcer between Undertaker and Yokozuna. So he was the oh. Which yeah, wrestler sir. appeared in the in, on Walker? Not which. Well, Chuck Norris was at Mania. Is that not what you're looking for? No. Oh. Chuck was, but they're looking for the the wrestler who appeared in Walker. Oh well, I misunderstood the question. Oh well. <laughs> All right. It was a Hulk Hogan had a had a an appearance in uh in Walker as himself there. Uh, yeah, actually uh, uh, Hulk Hogan said that they had offered him the role of Walker Texas Ranger, but his kicks were too hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do three hundred and hopefully I understand the question this time. <laughs> you should. You'll get this one. Which <laughs> wrestler hosted the reality show TV show Redneck Island? Mr. Pr- Phil, uh, you're up. I'm just totally guessing. I, I I hope it's the bionic redneck himself, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Who else could it be other than Stone Cold <laughs> Steve Austin? I know, man. The bionic redneck. Gotta love him. Let's man. do, Mr. Bruce, let's go 400 and cross our fingers that something don't happen here. All right. Which wrestler appeared in the movie Guardians of the Galaxy? Damn. Oh, that yeah, would be Batista. That would be Batista. And uh, shoot, we're running out of uh, options here that aren't safe. Let's do uh, 500. Okay. Which wrestler starred in the Netflix series Glow? Damn. Alex Riley. No. He was their trainer. Oh, which Chavo had, was in it too, but. Which wrestler starred in it? She had the reoccurring role. That was a reoccurring role. He was the back. He was the backup boyfriend. Oh, oh well. <laughs> awesome Kong. Awesome Kong. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's do. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Let's, let's try the bottom. Let's do tag team titans for five hundred. Ooh. All right. There. Who were the members of the Brain Busters? Damn, I the, brain bust, Busters the Brain Busters were Tully, Tully and Arn. What was that? 
the, the brain busters were Tully and Arn. You got it. I, you know, Phil was trying to talk over you there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Trying to run some interference. My buzzer. <laughs> uh, well, let's, buzzer. Let's, let's, tell you what, let's work backwards. Let's do 400 mm-hmm. Tag Team Titans. Who were the members of the Hollywood Blondes? Mr. President. Uh, stunning Steve Austin and the, and the late flying Brian Pillman. You got it. You got it. I knew you'd get that one. All right. Your choice. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Let's, uh, I know her so linear here. I might as well go with the tag team Titans for 300. Oh, you, you've got a steel chair. Which one of your opponents do you want to take points away from? You've got the player with 800. You've got Dan with 400. And that uh, lonely spirit box with zero. Well, uh, <laughs> Benny, Benny, Benny. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. Not sure how this fear is Tur- fair play. Is play. Okay. You're the first champ anyway, man. No one can take that from you. Whew. You guys better do some work here because right now the uh, Mr. President can't get caught. So, Phil, it's from your choice. From your mouth to God's ears. Let's go. Well, let's hopefully go uh, to 200 tag team Titans, Bruce. Who were the members of the Twin Towers? Uh, Bill. Uh, th- that would be um, Akeem, the, um, the African Dream, and the Big Boss Man. Akeem and the Big Boss Man is correct. All right. Well, let's. Let's finish the category at the starting point, in this case, of Tag Team Titans for 100, Bruce. Everybody's going to get this one. Who were the members of the Rock and Sock Connection? Dan. Uh, that would be that would be The Rock and Mick Foley. <laughs> the Rock and Mick Foley. Signed, by the way, if anyone cares. All right. Nice, nice job, Dan. Uh, well, let's do WrestleMania moments for 100, so one of us can get misted. Uh oh, referee has been distracted. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> oh, I have figures. <laughs> yeah, but at least you're only losing 100 points. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I got, I got the the bad, the bad question last game too. So, yeah. all right, let's do 200. Oh, oh there it is. Okay, who was a special guest referee in the main event at WrestleMania 14? Uh, you got in there. That would be Mike Tyson. That would be Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah. Iron Mike. Water's getting cold. In Boston, baby. Let's do 300. I think it was. All right. Who were the participants in the first ever WrestleMania ladder match? Dan. Uh, That would be Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. That would be Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon. Nice job. My damn buzzer. Uh, let's Let's do WrestleMania moments for 400. Who were the participants in the first ever WrestleMania Hell in a Cell match? Damn. I want to say Triple H and The Undertaker. No. It was probably the least. Oh, oh you know what? Damn it. <laughs> and I was in again. I forgot about that one because it was such garbage. Well, was it Boss Man? Yeah, it was yeah. Undertaker. Yeah, when, boss when, man. when he hung him, I forgot about that one. I blocked yeah. that from Possib- my memory. Possibly yeah. the worst match ever. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and let's uh, finish up the board. We've got WrestleMania moments for 500. And who were the participants in the first ever WrestleMania Iron Man match? Didn't that happen earlier? What, the question? Well, it's, it's, I answered it last show. It's only fair yeah, to answer just, this one. It was yeah, uh, no. Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. Yep, that, that would be correct. 
All right, where are we sitting now? We've got Dan at 1,000, the player at 600, and Mr. President at 2,500. Anything can happen as long as Phil bets uh, everything. Time to pull a clay. <laughs> so, all right, guys, let's take a quick break while you guys uh, determine what you're going to wager. And when we come back, we're going to determine who is going to be the champion of Wrestle Test. We'll be right back. Looking to enhance the appeal and performance of your gym with state-of-the-art equipment? Look no further than the Gym Administrator. Founded by Sal Corrente, professional wrestling manager, promoter, and author of the great book Bruno San Martino, the autobiography of wrestling's living legend, available on Amazon.com, the Gym Administrator will spot you on that final rep and assist you every step of the way from purchase through installation, whether it be strength training, cardiovascular training, or performance enhancement, the gym administrator works with a wide array of leading vendors and suppliers carefully selected to meet the diverse needs of your clientele. Service the way you remember it. Contact us at 914-494-1066 or visit our website at thegymadministrator.com as well as all social media platforms. The Gym Administrator. All your fitness needs under one roof. Scan the barcode at the bottom of the screen to get started today. The Monty and the Pharaoh Show is brought to you by... Because wine is your second favorite four-letter word. California wine, New York attitude. Good fucking wine. Yeah. Sir? Ah. Manscaped? Uh-huh. Uh, you know, have you tried the new equipment that's been sent? I'm afraid because it says Weed Whacker. <laughs> I'm scared. Maven, Manscaped, what are you thinking about Love Manscaped, it. dude? You Love it. it. What do you use it for? Necessity. <laughs> what don't I use it for? Put it this way. <laughs> the only hair <laughs> I have on my entire body is these eyebrows. Yeah. That oh. you see. These wow. caterpillars racing to the middle of my nose. That's it. <laughs> that is it. That's all, that's all I have. And that's all I want. That's the so pick. Manscaped there, is a you, must. We were talking before the show. There's nothing worse than just hair. Yeah. Right? Hair on a woman, hair on a man. It's just bad. Absolutely. And it's the one thing that the older I get, it starts growing more in unwanted areas. Absolutely. I hate it. I'm going to ask you a question. Uh-oh. Just going to go out there. Oh, boy. Go for it. You're doing a deed. Yes. <laughs> Again, I don't want you to have to admit this because we... As men, we try not to admit this, but if you're going to oh, go do I the know deed it. on a woman, I know would you rather going. have her be hairless or a little hair, racing stripe, or <laughs> racing stripe. full retro bush? <laughs> racing well, stripe. Retro bush is out. Yes, thank you. Retro bush is out. Yeah. Um, I don't mind a small, well-manicured landing strip. <laughs> Every now and then, if it's completely, and I'm talking like baby's ass bald, Mm. Then I, I start, where is that pedophilia line yeah. that I'm, that I'm, I don't, I don't wow. want to wander into that. Yeah, that's very interesting. Like that. I never thought about wow. that. You're a smart dude. Yeah. Shit. So if the landing strip is clean enough for the plane to go in smoothly, you're cool with that. If the landing strip is, has, like I said, well manicured, yeah. you yeah. can see both sides. It's not like blinking lights on both I, sides of that. Landing? I just don't, I don't want, <laughs> you know, I don't want the shrubbery going off into yeah. unwanted areas on that gotcha. as well. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, look but, what you found. Ooh. I got to be all honest, gotcha. though. Hey, the, ah. the, the older I get, though, I don't, I think, I don't think I can be as... Uh, <laughs> I, as, I found as, it! Have, I found have it! Have you ever gone down there and, like, just, like, you, she slowly brings down the underwear, then... What is... Retro. Just, Absolutely. Retro. You're like, whoa! Wow! Yeah, like, like it pops out? Do you, like, walk out, or what do you do? No, I, try, I muster through. I muster up the <laughs> courage to get through. He's a trooper. <laughs> yeah. He's a trooper. <laughs> Gotta give him a name. Yeah, not, all, not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, I, there you no, go. I, 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 <laughs> listen, can't, I couldn't... I Super couldn't Bush! Say, I couldn't say... <laughs> well, <laughs> if you have the same beliefs as Maven, does Manscaped could help you? Absolutely. The Weed Whacker. Absolutely. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that I may have to, like, you know, go in a room, close the door, and hang out with the Weed Whacker for a little while. Yeah, I think you're a retro guy, aren't you? I like 70s adult films, if that's what you're getting at. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, with that, Jeremy, we're going to take a quick Batman. commercial break, and anyway. we'll be back with this wrestling icon, Maven. We will see you in a drop kick second. A uh, drop kick. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Wrestle Test. And I'm here with these four or three fine gentlemen and a box. Uh, 
We haven't heard much from that spirit box, but uh, <laughs> Very it's, quiet. It, it's there in spirit. Of Must me. offer, yeah. <laughs> so listen, uh, let, let's get this uh, final question off the ropes. Are you ready, guys? Ready. Let's do it. Okay. What city was the host of Super Clash 3? Super Clash. Super Clash 3. Oh boy. Jeez. Yeah, that was the one where you had uh uh several organizations kind of working together there. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. were coaching each other's talent in the locker room. Oh god. That's where a certain uh wrestling legendary brother cut himself accidentally before going to the ring. He digged himself accidentally. All I right. believe. Done. Where the hell was that? All right. What do you guys have? Finalizing your answers there. Yes, Why, sir. Well? Yeah. All right. Everybody got their pens down? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. So let's start off. You know, the player, you're in last place here. Uh, what do you What do you have there? I have uh, what is Chicago? That is correct. What is Chicago? What's your wager yeah. there? Five ninety nine. Five ninety nine. That gives you, that gives you eleven ninety nine. Nice job. All right. All right, Dan. It looks like you're in second place. What do you got? I also put Chicago, and I wagered nine hundred. Nine hundred. So, nice. Dan, you are up to nineteen hundred dollars. Nice job there, Mister President. What do you have there? I wagered nothing, but I guessed Memphis, Tennessee. So, with so I lose an- nothing. <laughs> so, with the wrong answer, Phil DeCesare is the new Wrestle Test champion. Congratulations, All right. Phil. Wait All a right, minute. Guys. All right. So on behalf of oh, Dan Sebastiano, I feel so count. redeemed. <laughs> Mr. President, we are going to get out of here. Hey, Dan, I know you got to go. Thanks, everybody, for your time, and we'll see everybody next time. Later. <laughs>